presenting Forever Living Products, adjudged by the Consumers Union of the Philippines as the best MLM and natural health product company in the Philippines. Ang alam ko po sa taong ito ay nagtapos bilang cum laude sa UST. At siya rin po ay nag-top number one dun sa medical board exam ng batch niya. Nag-masteral sa Harvard University. Okay? At higit sa lahat, hanggang ngayon, siya pa rin ang ating director sa Philippine Heart Center. So mga ka, let us all welcome Dr. Logerio Torres! Po, sa inyong lahat. Good morning. Grabe. Power. Very good. So, I'm here today to reinforce what we will say the downward, I would say, but not downward. I'll tell you, every possible happening in this country or anywhere else has its ups and downs. The life is like a roller coaster. Even in the practice of medicine, there is ups and downs. I, for one, being the director of the Philippine Heart Center, if I were not introduced to this forever, since we have many graduates from the Heart Center, young at that, I could feel the competition. I can feel that I'm losing some of my patients to the younger generations. And it is good that in 1997, I was introduced to these forever living products. And to that, I refuse to accept that being a doctor of medicine, I would not immediately jump into conclusion that there is something in these products. And it is very hard to convince doctors. Personally, I had a very good experience with FLP products. I'm here to state that there are scientific evidence and similarly, when I have met Rex in Hong Kong in 2001, during the 15th anniversary, I was the guest speaker of the Hong Kong FLP to speak about our experience here in the Philippines. Because of the change in weather, it was in November of 2001, that I suddenly fly from Manila to Hong Kong I lost my voice, and it was really a very hoarse one. And how can I be speaking to a large group of Hong Kong and Filipino FLPs there if I don't have a clear, concise voice? So, along the hallway, I met Rex, and he advised me, oh, you better gargle yourself with aloe activator. And then, try to chew the propolis tablet. Chew it. Don't swallow it. And gargle it in your throat. Three tablets. I did it in the morning. I did it at noon time. And when the evening time comes, when I was ready to speak, my voice was cleared of all hoarseness. So that alone, I was surprised. I never had this kind of prescription before. <laughs> and also, personally, when I had my surgery for cancer of the prostate in the year 2000, I was uh, recuperating. I had a catheter attached to me, but I was dripping urine on my side and with pumpers that irritated my thighs to the point of developing diaper rust. 
You know, dieter rush is so painful. Napakahapdi. Mapula-pula. Ginamitan ko na ng mga the usual uh, vitamin A, all sorts of, ina-apply natin sa baby, baby lotion. It never, uh, would say, the irritation never dried up. So for the next one or two days, I was walking as if I was circumcised. But anyway, my wife advised me to use aloe propolis cream. And you know, I applied it. And 30 minutes later, the irritating pain disappeared. Two hours later, the lesions dried up. I was surprised. Why would happen like that? And so, after seeking the components of aloe vera, I saw that there was this anthraquinone, which is acting like a steroid. Being a plant steroid, it has that anti-inflammatory, anti-allergy, and probably without the irritating solution of a combination of preservatives. Nowadays, there has been a report in the Philippine College of Surgeons, a resident in Bicol won the first prize for using the aloe vera jelly for treating first and second degree burns. And true enough, in the picture shown here, even by Dr. Greg in the Oklahoma, I remember saying, after that bombing in Oklahoma, there were first, second, and third degree burns of the victims in that Oklahoma bombing. And they have used aloe vera jelly for healing this different scarred skin to the point of almost cure rate that they don't need any more plastic surgery afterwards. So, you have read my literature, The Big Five. Actually, if I'm going to tell you, I'm taking Big Eleven. Big Eleven. I'm taking aloe vera gel before breakfast, and I'm taking forever freedom before retiring. You know, I need forever freedom. Why? I have seen in forever freedom that a person like me developing OA. You know what OA is? Osteoarthritis. There are many kinds of arthritis. Gouty arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, septic arthritis, so forth and so on. But for our aging population, like Arab, had an osteoarthritis of the knee. If he has just taken forever freedom, he will be freed from that knee cap surgery. But too late the hero. The ravages of osteoarthritis have already come to his knees. So my advice, me who is playing sometimes golf intermittently, I develop sometimes tendinitis and knee joint whenever I walk uphill and downhill at the golf course. And every time I take that forever freedom, my pain in my knee disappears. So it means to say that the component of that forever freedom, which consists of aloe vera gel, 89%, together with the usual three or triumvirate of glucosamine, chondroitin, and MSM, or methyl sulfonyl methane, which sometimes you can buy over any uh, herbal or drugstore, but in tablet form. You can see this. 
in any pharmaceuticals or even abroad with this component of MSM, glucosamine, and chondroitin. That glucosamine is an essential amino acid that forms the membrane of your kneecap or any joint for that matter. And once you become old, that membrane surrounding the ball joint suddenly will develop or progressively atrophy the lubricant, the synovial fluid will dry up and what happens, there will be friction now of that ball and socket joint leading to the point of inflammation, friction and grinding of both bony surfaces and that is the one causing the pain in osteoarthritis. But if you are taking this triumvirate, now in tablet form, 20% only will be absorbed by the gastrointestinal tract. But if it becomes in a liquid form and combined with aloe vera gel, you will note that it is 100% absorbed in your gastrointestinal tract. So, even if you have to take glucosamine, it is usually given 1,500 grams per tablet, three times a day. While the chondroitin, 1,200 milligrams tablet daily. That's really very gruesome and big amount. And only 20% will be absorbed. But, if you take forever freedom, you can rest assured, you don't lose anything. Plus, the anthraquinone of aloe vera gel, which is a steroid, a plant steroid, will be there to help your ball and socket joint not to be crying or weeping every time you move it. So those who are 40 and above, I advise for prevention, take it even once a day. That will prevent the drying up of your synovial fluid and your joint surfaces. It is not when the inflammation, when you cannot move anymore your knees, that you are going to take the forever freedom. It may help you, it may lessen, it may delay. So, but once you reach the age of 40 and 50, better take it as a preventive medicine. Okay, let's go now to the big five. This is where I am really getting so much patience from FLP members. I'm now having my clinic from 6 o'clock almost to 1 o'clock in the morning. Brought about by many members of LLP all over the country. In fact, whenever I prescribe FLP, I always mention, they tell me, Doctor, alam na namin yan. You don't have to explain, but we just need confirmation that it is really good. When I say it is good, it's like the Pope saying a dogma. <laughs> you know, patients will believe their doctors. But this is not really implying without any basis. I can tell you, it is with 100 10% basis to say that they are working. I had one patient, these are not anecdotal this time, because I have so many patients now, candidate for coronary bypass. But, you know, coronary bypass, how much does it cost? 500,000 going up. They're very expensive. So, if a patient will make an option not to undergo surgery or angioplasty with stenting, I will tell him, okay, here we are. I'll give you this FLP products, change your lifestyle, take your usual medicines for your coronary heart disease, and we will see. But the moment there will be progression of your chest pain or angina, you better subject yourself for coronary bypass surgery. So that is the option that I give them. And true enough, 
How many patients did I have? And I placed them on artexy, garlic, thyme, and if they are a little bit 60 and above, I give them ginkgo plus. If they are diabetic, I give pills of green. So with aloe vera gel, I maintain them on this big pipe. And I was surprised. They're not coming back anymore for an increasing chest pain. And they start having more activities. They can do now their night love with their wives. You mean that erectile dysfunction? You don't need Viagra? They're telling me they can do their nocturnal exercise without developing the chest pain. I am supposed to do him coronary bypass almost after a positive three-vessel coronary angiogram, but he opted not to undergo that coronary bypass surgery. For three years, he was taking the big five, and true enough, the cholesterol has stayed low, he lost weight by 50 pounds, and then stop smoking and for three years he was pain free our day to day it is the hdl the good cholesterol that swims into the circulation and try to like pakman eat up that ldl from the wall dissolve it so if you are going to take red wine and exercise it increases your good cholesterol now, if you have to take Arctic Sea, it is only Arctic Sea that can dissolve the styrofoam. Many experiments have already been tried using the other omega-3. They have not dissolved the styrofoam. Which component of the Arctic Sea has dissolved it? It is the olive oil that is present in Arctic Sea in combination with omega-3. It has also vitamin E. But it is the omega-9. You know, this omega, omega, omega business. There's omega-3, omega-6, omega-9. Omega-9 is olive oil, the best oil, not very expensive. Now, the omega-3 are the fish oil that you see among tuna, mackerel, or the deep sea pieces. In Alaska, Eskimos do not develop coronary heart disease because they are only eating tuna and mackerel. It is the omega-3. But it is not the omega-3 that increases your HDL. It is the omega-9. This arachidonic acid, if circulating in your body, will cause the secretion of prostaglandin. And prostaglandin is inflammatory in nature, will cause arthritis. At the same time, this arachidonic acid will produce also prostacycline. What is prostacycline? It is a potent vasoconstrictor that can cause stroke and spasm of your coronary arteries. So, in between omega-3, omega-9, naandyan yung components sa Arctic Sea. Kaya if taken properly, usually they advise two capsules three times a day, but for our Filipinos, we can take one capsule three times a day and combine it with garlic thyme. Garlic thyme is supposed to be somewhat like Russian penicillin. It contains three components. The alicillin, which is a very strong antibiotic. The adjoining, which is a blood thinner. And also that component that produces what we will called lowering of blood pressure with garlic thyme, the thyme itself. So that if you are taking garlic thyme and you have to have an operation or any kind of surgery, you have to stop it one week before any scheduled operation. So if you combine these three, aloe vera gel, artexy, garlic thyme, and if you have diabetes, pills of green. If you are not very plan, uh, very, uh, plan of not taking vegetables and all those uh, vegetables and it cannot be available pills of green is very good it contains chromium picolinate 
It contains also a lot of minerals for your anemia, morning sickness, and gastrointestinal disorder. But the chromium picolinate is necessary for the formation of insulin for diabetes. The ginkgo plus, that ginkgo biloba, was the only tree that survived the atomic explosion in Hiroshima. Just to tell you the sturdiness of this tree after that atomic explosion in Hiroshima. And ginkgo has plus those terrapins that we mentioned contains the resin mushroom, those uh, bulberry something like there, no? And the toti, I think there's a toti for anti-aging. And it improves your memory because it brings oxygen to your brain cells. Therefore, ginkgo plus these therapies mentioned will be very good for elderly patients. So, if you are 16 and above, you take this big five, I'm rest assured that you can be delaying and improving the quality of your life. So, with that, I think I can say with certainty that you can call your mission and your vision. Mission accomplished. Thank you very much.